But I mean, you obviously don't think that your dad did anything. Right? I don't think my dad would do something. You think you think he's able to do that physically? I don't know. I I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. Did uh, what time does Olivia normally wake up? I don't know. She sleeps. I, I can tell you, with my kids, they're up six a.m. You know. I hate to be like that, but she's all different hours with Eva. You know, she even. What do you mean you hate to be like what? Like Eva lays in bed a lot of the time. You know. Okay. So I mean, she lays around. I don't know. No, I'm talking about Olivia. I know, like when. And it's already explained. Um, Olivia wakes up all different times, you know, when Eva gets up, you know. Okay. I mean, is it is it fairly normal for her to sleep until nine, nine forty-five? Ten, eleven, twelve, one. For really? Yeah. So she sleeps a lot. You don't really want to get her out of the crib, but you know, Why? we stay up late. I don't know, you know, and I I I've, I've slacked on it, but I help too a lot of the times. But you know, like. Like my mom was now, it was a big issue with my mom, you know. My mom stayed with a month in Vienna Hills and she's like, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, Eva's still in there and that baby's still in the crib. I was at work. So what's she doing in the crib all day? Play. She didn't have any toys in there. There were, there were some, you know, there's some, there's some in there sometimes, you know. I didn't know there wasn't any in there. We, we changed all this stuff in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Legs. So I, mean, I guess that would be pretty aggravating. What? With her keep her in the crib all day. What do you mean? I mean, you. I'm mean, just by the way you're saying this. I'm seeing it seems like you really don't like that. I don't care as long as the baby's not fussing or anything. She's happy. That's all right, I guess. I mean, she should probably get her out and play with her, but I don't. Really, nothing. That means you don't really go and eat breakfast and. Yeah, we, you know, we interrupt and put her in her high chair and she'll eat. You know, I told you the sausage. I tried to feed her that sausage the other morning. Okay. Do you, know, you ever find out how, what she was sick from? I don't know. I thought it was a stomach bug. She thrown up and... She just threw up. That's all it was. There was just stuff in the crib, you know. Diarrhea or... You know. Okay. And she threw up in her crib? Yeah. How many times did she throw up? I mean, was there, would she throw up in the kitchen and throw up in the... No, it's just... Just the one time in the crib? Yeah. Okay. Did you, uh, did you clean her up at all or anything before? Yeah, I, 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 I cleaned her up a little bit, you know, with wipes or whatever and threw them away, and then I, uh, I put her in a high chair, gave her the sausage or whatever, and then I, uh, I put her in the bathtub, bathed her, laid her in bed. So she's been in bed pretty much all the day, went to a doctor's appointment, she stayed in bed, we came home, and... You know? So you and Eva went to the doctor's appointment? Yeah. Where was Libby at when you guys went to the In the crib. With just your dad there? Yep. I'm sure she can get out of that crib. Can't she? Yeah. So why, why, why are we leaving that kid in there? I don't know. My dad, he had a cell phone. He had a yeah, he ain't phone. doing nothing, though. I mean, he can't. He could call me. He's right there. No, I, got, I got that, but I mean, we're talking something, uh, something foolish. We shouldn't have done. You know, I don't know what to say to that really. How many times does that happen? A few. I don't know. We don't really do that often. You know, when, I mean, when you guys are in her sleep, when you need to go to buy pills, do you leave her there in the crib? No, no, we don't do that. We take her with us. I mean, she's sick, so we left her there. You know, she was sleeping. And that was yesterday? Yes, sir. Hmm. And was she, was she awake when you got home? No, but I don't, I don't know when you got her out. I don't know. I don't know. I guess she must have woke up. So sometime a little after we got home from the doctor's appointment. You said about seven, somewhere in there? Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. The Suboxone, the Suboxone appointment's weird, you know, that guy gives everyone the same time and he just tries to get everyone through and get them out. Is there any reason why you couldn't take her there? I mean, I guess we could have took her there. She's sick. I don't know. But, I mean, I can obviously tell by the way you're saying this. You have concerns about leaving her in there by herself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, what's your concerns with that? 
I mean, we, we probably should have took her with us, but I guess we've done it before, so it was okay. I don't know. It's just not probably a bright thing to do. It's something dumb we both we did. I mean, I can't go back in time and do that. No, no, I got it. You know, I mean, it just seems like we're getting a pattern here. Yeah. Of you know, dumb decisions. Yeah. No, we we're addicts, so. Yeah, I get it, but I mean, that, that's all well and good, mm -hmm. but until we're talking about the reason that you're here. Yeah. I understand that. Then, uh, hey, we're addicts and make them decisions. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. not working. I understand that. So, um, this is this is this is where I'm at. Okay, is if if you did anything to Olivia, okay, hold on, mm -hmm. let me finish. Okay, if you did anything to Olivia, the autopsy will show that. Yes, I understand. Okay? That. Um, so now we're at the point now that. If you did something, okay, this whole interview, okay, is going to show that you have no remorse for it or anything like that. That you, we give you the opportunity to talk about it, and you said nothing happened. I'm not saying I you did it. Yeah, Hold on, I Hold on. I'm saying if you did, okay, this whole interview is going to be showing that you have no remorse, and all you care about is if you got away with it. Yes, I. Would you agree with that? Yes, I did nothing to that child, and I don't know what happened to her. I don't know, and I didn't do nothing. Do you think Eva did something? I don't know. Well, I, mean, I, 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 I married the woman. Okay. I didn't think she would no, do no, something. No, no, I'm telling you, speak with the information that you've been given so far between these interviews. Right? Yeah, 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 between speaking. Sergeant Perry talking to you and me talking to you with the information that you've been given. Okay? I mean, obviously your head has to be wondering if something happened. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. So... If something did happen, I mean, do you think you even did it? I don't know. That was like the other thing you saying. I was on the phone with my ex-wife. She was saying she's got a bunch of stuff about Eva's background that you wouldn't even believe. I don't know, but I, I so wouldn't have married her. I don't know. I don't have the info. She's the one that got it. So I don't know about her background. But I wouldn't have married her if I thought she would do something like that. I love her. How long you known her? A year. How long you lived with her? A year. Does she live with you or you live with her? She lives with me. You lived there before? Well, she used to live on a house in Jenny Lynn, and I was staying off of Rena Road at a different place, an old boss of mine. Where is that at? 2004 Woodland Way. Okay. And then uh, from there, I was paying rent and living with Eva and paying there, and I did that for a few months, but I never stayed at that place, so I just quit. So I talked to him and said I wasn't going to pay no more, and I just started staying with Eva there. Mm -hmm. And then we moved out of there to Fiona Hills, and we were there for about six months, and then we just moved over to this place about a month or two ago. Okay. Did y'all like it there and everything? Not too bad. It's cold to sag for the kids. Why? You know, the cold to sag's good. You don't want your kids getting hit by a car. Cold to sag? Yeah, oh, cold to sag. I thought, said, I thought you said it was cold as heck. Oh, no, no, no. I'm um, sorry. Okay. So does Eva go out and play a lot and outside? Um, not too often. I guess we go out and smoke cigarettes, hang out outside every once in a while. It's more cold right now. It's the garage. You know, we're in the yeah. garage and that. Is that, is that Black Dog y'all's? Yeah. Yeah, it's right over. Okay. Do you have any other pets? No, sir. So I guess that food and water bowl in the bathroom is, is the dog? Yeah, the dog. Okay. But, I mean, I, I, I get what you're saying, okay, but, I mean, it's pretty obvious of why we have concerns about no, your, I totally your, understand your, your behavior, right? Oh, oh, well, yeah, about mine? Yeah. Yeah, about yeah, yeah, it was crazy what I'd done, yes, I totally understand that. So... I guess hearing it to me, then instead of doing it, it sounds way worse. Well, I mean, I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, when, um, anyway, need more water in there? I just want to go smoke. I need to call my mom and let her know what's going on because she does, I was on the phone with her and I was supposed to call her when I got home. Okay. I called her at Billy's. What's, what's, is, what's she under on your, on your phone? Uh, uh, mom. She's not a mom? Yeah. Okay. I'll see if I get her number and see if I can get you to call her. Yeah. And again, I smoke one more time if you don't mind. I'm yeah. doing that too. No, you're fine. Give me a second to work it all out. All right, no problem.
crazy thing. Why is it? Why did you not say anything to me on the Because phone? you're fucking accusing her of doing shit wrong. I didn't want to, I didn't know what to say. You're thinking it's me.
and I'm not, I don't even know what the fuck's going on, so I said, I'll call back. And then I fucking see her, then I call back. It's, it's fucking crazy, man. I don't know. And then I'm like, I'm going to take Billy home. I'll get right back. I called her eight times on the way fucking home from Billy's. I didn't know what to do with Billy. I figured I'd come back. Eva would get in the ambulance or Eva would be there and we'd go together. I thought she was still alive. I don't know.
Roxy, that's all he ever uses. Well, you're you're using dope. So yeah, but I, do you think I'd let my dad do that? What's Eva using? Both. You know that kid is gonna be so messed up. Well, you promise you'll get help when you get out here. Cooperate with them, okay? I am. I'm telling Stop trying to protect her. You know she's. I don't. I'm not protect. I don't. I don't know anything. That's why. I know. I'm not gonna lie and make something up about her and tell them and then. The thing is, is that you're high. I can't. I don't know if I should believe you now or not. Like, because you literally. Pam, how, how, many, how many years was I high around you? Did I ever beat man? You know, you wouldn't even thank her. I don't think that you did anything to Olivia, but I don't know if you know something about you. I don't. You're protecting her. You I wouldn't protect her. You got married with her yesterday. You lied to everybody. Has she ever got too rough with Olivia? I don't know. I, I mean, there's. I can't recollect. I want to say yes, but then I just know more. I know she's been painting really bad that one time and got out of control and she overdid it and then the other time of uh I want to say she has gotten like that with Olivia before but not uh, worse than I would ever want anyone to do it but I don't I don't know. Do you think she when's the last time she got high? Do you think that has to do with it? Y'all been high for days, huh? High every day. Hmm? High every day. You know, I've been high every day for fucking 17 years. How long have you been using it again? Be honest, it's all out there now. What? How long have you been back on it? A while, a long time. So, was it after Eva? Before. It was before her? What was it before her Roxy's? I was doing dope too. But it took a long time for me to do dope. Jordan. I'm sick of it. I want to get out. I know you're ready to be clean. I know you are. That's why I'm getting rid of my dad. Daddy been around? What has she been around? Like, what do you mean around? Has she been around trying to use him? Yes. Um. That's really hard to hear. I know. It's sad. And then now the little baby is dead. <laughs> You know I'm here. I will talk to your mom. I will talk to them. But I said, let me go outside and smoke. And they're not going to. They said I could go out. Okay. They've been oh, taking I me out. Yeah. Okay, but you need to cooperate with them. I'm telling them everything. I don't think you did it. I know you better than anybody does. I'm going to go out here. I don't. I just got to. This is crazy. What do you need me to do for you before I go? I don't, there's nothing you can't do for me. I can't even leave here. I'm like, I've answered every question they've wanted. I know. You need to detox and then try to, and think about everything. And well, you just asked him, let me call him mom, because she wanted me to call her, and then, just can I smoke a cigarette? I just asked him. They've been taking me out here and there. I'll talk to them. Please, thank you, ma'am.